Hey, what's up everyone? It's Leo here again, and as you guys might have noticed, I'm not an English speaker, I'm from Brazil, but I'll try my best though to make another video on Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, so during the Operation Health, a lot of new problems have appeared in the game. The latest one came along with the Alpha Packs. Ubisoft has made changes in the game's server, and as a result, a lot of players have been connected to a wrong data center. Americans have gone to Europe, Europeans to the USA, Brazilians to the US, Americans to South American servers. It's been a mess. And when you get connected to a wrong data center, it means you will get high ping. Now it's been common to see a lot of players with high ping over 100, 200, even 300. And it ruins the game experience because the latency difference make hard to kill the enemy, to hit bullets, even to see an enemy. I was playing it last night and an invisible player with over 300 MS killed me three times and I didn't even see him. On the replay, he was right there in front of me, but due to the high latency, he killed me on his screen even before I could see him. In other words, it's been a pain in the ass. One of my subscribers have contacted me with this message in Portuguese. He contacted Ubisoft support and reported the problem. The answer was basically blaming his IPS, the Internet Provider Service, for bad trace route. But the thing is, this is a general answer because many players with different providers have had the same issue. The truth is, Ubisoft servers for some reason are struggling with a lot of players' connections and the route of the data has reached the servers in a wrong way. So the best way to fix it is by changing the route of your connection. To do it, you will need to install a VPN software. Down below in the description there are the links to some of them. You will need to download it on your computer and install it the VPN will mask your IP. You will get a new one to a remote server. And from this new server, with a new IP and route, you can try to connect to the Rainbow Six Siege servers with lower pings. You also can choose the server region you want to get connected. For PC users, it's super easy. You just need to download, install, and run the VPN. But for console players though, it's a bit complicated because after running the VPN, it's necessary to set up the modem with the VPN settings in order to make it work. I will not get in depth on how to set up the modem, but I will let down below the description websites that teach us how to do it. With a VPN, you will get a better experience on the game, meanwhile Ubisoft doesn't fix the problems from the operation health. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope I have helped you somehow. Catch you later and ciao, amigos.